All right, welcome back. Episode four of Revival, a D and D real play podcast. We just survived a skill challenge against some of these new mana infused creatures, and it swooshed right into combat. So let's hop right in. All right, as always, I'm your DM. It's your boy. Let's go. It's so, as you guys can see right now, the way that we're going to do this, I don't know who made this map. Would you know? Just found it on roll twenty. It'll all. It's all good. So that series of rocks right there on the map is the road. You can't imagine. You can't see a road. Imagine a road. Everything below the road, in terms of ice, is going to be all patchy. It's going to be difficult terrain. It's going to be hard to move through. And you might need to make a roll to uh, move across it super quickly. Everything above that, ice. You are going to need to make either an athletics or an acrobatics check to cross it safely while running. Uh, yeah, f so for people who are just listening and don't have the visual aid, we've got a map that's about uh, 12 squares across, uh, split in half. Uh, in the middle of the map is a river. It's uh, partially frozen, and uh, there's a road running in between the river that cuts it in half. Anything below the road, so the bottom half of the uh, river portion of the map, is difficult terrain, which makes it harder to move through. Anything above it uh, on the river is frozen over more solidly and requires like an acrobatics or an athletics yeah, check. Yeah. So uh, you guys can set yourselves up uh, wherever you would really like, but one thing to know is that uh, from what Elias has seen, you don't want to be super close or bunched together against basically any of these guys. All right, so uh, <laughs> you're you're very aware that yeah, that uh, that little little crab explosion that they got ain't exactly uh one target only. Right. So uh, after the results of the uh, skills challenge, um, I'm feeling a lot more confident being close to John. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe a little less so being near Pat, so I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to John. He seems like he's uh, reliable, <laughs> right. but I still really so want one we... of those claws. So we rolled initiative uh, during the break. I think it might have been at the end of the last episode as well. Uh, we have John on 19, Patton on 17, Elias at 16, and Jerry bringing up the rear at 10. Uh, the way that this is go this is gonna work is that since they are scared shitless by Jerry's big ol' intimidation. Uh, no matter what these guys rolled, they aren't going to get to go until all of you guys have gone once first. Oh, okay. I'm... And at the start of the next round, it's going to go back to normal order, though. Uh, just for the record, there are three crab monsters and one Yep, we got guy. three crabs, so uh, I need to... Yeah, I've got him named, but his name isn't showing up. There we go. Okay, so you got three crabs in front of you. We'll call this guy blue, because his carapace has kind of got this blue tinge to it. Uh, this guy Cyclops, because he's missing one of his eyes. And uh, we're going to call this guy Twitchy, because he seems to be scuttling around all over the place. Does, uh, does Cyclops seem like he lost that eye recently, and if so, is it on the ground somewhere? You fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, things never went right for Cyclops after the accident fell apart. Real quick. Okay. Freebie, no. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Just letting you know, if the opportunity presents itself, I will take his other eye. <laughs> Jesus. It, it's gonna present itself. Okay. So, Unless top. So, top of the round. John. Alright. So, I'm now really scared of walking up to one of these. Because I assume... They're, they're now aware of me. I can't surprise them by jumping off of a bridge. Right. So, they're aware of you, but they're pretty wary right now. Yeah. I've got... It is called... You get right into things. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my divine strength. Mm-hmm. Which I believe I previously, previously flavored as a headbutt. <laughs> uh, what is what does that do again? Uh, plus just four to my it? damage. But is that a uh, minor action? Yes, it's a minor action. That is a little paladin class feature, isn't it? That's you your uh, channel divinity, right? Yes, that is my channel divinity. 
Okay, plus four your damage. You hit this next guy. All right. Yeah. Next for going... for your next attack roll. Yeah, my next attack roll. I'm going okay. to Arden Strike, the closest one, probably Cyclops. Uh, all right. So you're gonna shift over and Arden yep. Strike Cyclops Everyone. there. Yep. We got. We got a seventeen. 17? 17 versus AC. Versus AC. Yep. Oh, no. Ooh, act... Okay, so... Uh, you didn't declare this, but you're new to the character and everything. Uh... Uh-oh, Pat, what do I do? Yes. Did... Whose, uh... Whose weapon did you fiddle with? Who's got that bonus? Uh... Oh, that's right. It's got to be at the start of the day, isn't it? Yes, but, it is. Uh, we'll... I should have reminded you, but at the same mm -hmm. time, also please remember this shit. Oh, I didn't even know he had that's that. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, got his uh, let's see. arcane I, I believe. I believe it was John's last time, so... I, I don't think you've ever used it. That. I thought I thought I did. I thought, I don't know. No. I, don't know. I mean, I it makes he, sense right. to he put it on John. He used the magic weapon and... Now, it makes sense to put it on John because his shit doesn't make any sense, right? So you want to figure. John out and I works. were the only two awake in the morning, so yep. I mean, makes sense. I would, uh, I would tinker with the shotgun, mm -hmm. put some stuff into it, uh, slap some, slap some, uh, some, uh, some extra stuff onto it. See if I, you know, trying to fiddle with it, wondering why this fucking thing works. Okay, so the way that this works for people listening, uh, that's the. Artificer Arcane Empowerment uh, basically puts a floating little burst of energy that he can uh, use to augment one of his attack rolls, uh, namely to get a plus two bonus to that attack roll. Uh, it's a one and done sort of shot. So you rolled a 17 versus AC, you said? That's going to miss. Do you, do you want to use that little plus two that you got there? Do you think that it, basically it's like if a 17 missed, do you think a 19 would hit? I think it's he's going to pop it and it's still going to miss. I have a feeling, but it's fucking sure. You're going to pop it? Sure. Hit. <laughs> cool. Well, all right. This then. is a, a welcome turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that yeah, much of a That's one of those classic DM traps where they're like, hey, do you, do you want to? It, maybe it'll work. <laughs> Give right, it a shot. So we, got us, we got us 1d12. 1d12 plus a boatload, I think. Plus a boatload. A boatload. Like, a just a just a that. shit ton. Wow. What? Okay. I rolled a two. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's really cool. Welcome to my world. Oh, that's, so that's, just, that's just below what you need to use your I know, your I'm aware. Too. I'm upset. I'm <laughs> your very your upset. Goal. So it's two, so two four, sorry. five, six, seven, eight. So I got ten off of my stuff. Oh, because of your plus four to damage? Yeah. I got plus, uh, eight, plus four for strength and then plus four for strength and divine strength. So it's like uh, your total? damage. Uh, wait. You have an 18 in strength, right? Do you have your damn uh, plus one weapon equipped in the bowl there? I, I do. It, it's equipped? Yes. Because your damage bonus should be plus five. Hmm. I don't know why it's not showing up then. Strange. Oh, jeez. You have a plus 9 to attack and uh, 1d12 plus 5 damage, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's equipped. I've got it right there. Strange. Uh, anyway, your, your damage Are you sure not accidentally looking at, like, normal basic attack? Yeah, Arden Strike's got 1 weapon plus strength modifiers at 4. No, 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 no. Uh, you're looking at the top, at the uh, hit thing. Look at the bottom of the I power card. This. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, this is what everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. does. Uh, We're professionals here, folks. Well, I'm it's not first a time playing 4th edition. Yeah. Okay. In a while. So, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, 11, right? Yes. I won't that's do that a, again. That's a very solid hit, and that, uh, that, that gives him a, a marky mark on it, doesn't it? 
So I shoot him, and it kind of, most of the pellets glance off of the shell, and then I also headbutt him right in his stupid crustaceous face. Ooh. So, uh, Ooh. that, that, uh, divine sanction, that the first time he attacks anything that isn't you, you, uh, kind of quick draw on him, right? Yes. He, he knows that he, you got his full attention. Alright, <laughs> uh, you doing anything else? Uh, no, that is my turn. Mo standard move minor, yep. Uh, next up, Patton. All right. So, or isn't it the fish's turn? Nope. No. You all get to go first. It's a pseudo surprise round. Ah. Okay. Well, Patton's gonna set his. He's gonna set his bag down, uh, and uh, he's gonna snap his fingers. A little drone and, uh, can we come out. Little bro's gonna come on out, and I'm gonna be using punishing eye. Oh my. I'm gonna. I'm oh gonna my, tell oh little my. bro. I'm gonna point him out. I'm going to send him Punish over to where the trees eye. are. I'm going to send him... Uh, uh, so, please. I, I don't, so, he's going up. I'm going to send the drone out. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go uh, uh, in the like between Twitchy, Blue, and Cyclops. Okay, so, so gonna it's going to go right there. Here, let me just... Uh, here, I'll make a damn token of your uh, Punishing Eye. Uh, what do you want your... What do you, what do you want your Punishing Eye to be? Because I'm, uh, I'm strongly so, considering... Here, uh, yeah, let, here gonna this say, uh, gonna this picture of an anti-spiral from from Gurren Lagann seems about right. Oh, hey, it's Zum <laughs> from the extended universe. No, he's okay. Not uh, part of so, this please universe. read off that. So, what does Punishing Eye do, and uh, how are you going to so flavor this shit? Punishing Eye, you conjure an eye with in uh, in a square within range, which is five. Mm -hmm. Enemies within three squares do not benefit from concealment. And when an ally attacks an enemy within three squares of the eye and it hits, that enemy takes psychic damage equal to my intelligence modifier, and I can move the eye three squares. So what's happening is Lil Bro is going to sneak out in there, and he's going to give me, uh, you know, he, he sees them. He can signal out, like, hey, this dude's hiding here, you know. They're not going to be able to hide from uh, from the drone. And then uh, whenever an attack hits, you just kind of kind of spark out and just zap him a little bit. All right, I like it because he's he can't see, but we can see through him. All right, so if something gets hit, he's able to zap. No it. attack. He'll know right where it is. No attack roll for that thing. Uh, would you like to do anything else with it your turn? It just fucking goes right up. I am going to move minor. Do nothing. Just chill. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. All right, next up, wise. All right, so um. I am focused on getting at least one of these guys down fast. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift in front of uh, Cyclops here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a move action. Okay. Let me think. Uh, hold on. I might need to do a... Uh, a full discipline. Cat and mouse. Ah. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cat and mouse. Uh, you need to actually hit somebody with that first. Oh, I need to hit first? Okay. Yeah, Never trigger, mind. you hit something with a basic attack. Uh, uh, hold so on I'm not going to be able to do this uh, real let quick me, because I, I don't have two Let me see moves. if... Yeah, you can take up the same eye, the same uh, space as the eye. Uh, that's okay. What I'm going to do first, then, is I'm not going to be able to... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the, f the full effect of what I want just well, yet, but... I'm so wait, what were you with... what were you thinking of doing? Because the trigger I'm... for cat and mouse is just you hit something with a melee attack. Yeah, I know. I I've got my my uh, my turn figured out now. I'm not okay. I'm not going to be able to do it, it this turn. I'm going to do it next turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift in front. I'm going to use uh, dragon's tail, but mm -hmm. it's a monk move basically, and I'm going to target. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to target the crab, and this is uh, you're going to cyclops. You're yeah. talking to Cyclops? Cyclops. He's the only one in melee range. Yep. Alright, so that's going to be uh, plus six versus fortitude. Mm -hmm. Alright, that is a uh, 12 versus fortitude. 12 versus fortitude? Nope. Yeah, okay. So you <laughs> attempt to trip a crab. It doesn't work. They got more legs. Yeah. You swipe out a leg from underneath him, and he's got a lot more. Okay, so then as <laughs> got a lot of legs. As a as a minor, I'm going mm -hmm. to 
I'm going to go into my stance stunning palm. Mm -hmm. So until this stance ends, I can't be dazed or stunned. Nice. Uh, what is what does that look like? You so just, basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that trip thing, and it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna realize that this is a very large crab, and it's in front of me. And what I want to do now is I'm gonna look at it, and I'm gonna size it up, and I'm going to get low to the ground and basically scan over it quickly, looking for weak points, and basically focus my full attention on it using what I know so of uh, magical creatures. So you're going to attempt to attack the enemy crab for massive damage? Essentially, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, anything else, or are we good to go, nope, Jerry? that's me. Jiron, Mr. Oh. Thal attack. All right, so I am uh, standing behind this tree that's fallen down, and yep. I, I believe I've got cover from these wily yep. crabs. And I have Zep kind yep. of getting close up to Elias, because he's going to be the main focus of this, because we want to get that claw. Yes. Yeah, so you yeah. want to get that claw, I'm going to throw uh, a curse on Cyclops. I'm glad everyone's yep, on board the closest with the thing. claw I, plan. I, so actually, <laughs> let me see. What is the uh, range the for claw. Warlock's curse? No range. No range? No range. It's just like, you just go. What's, what's the closest thing? card say? Closest to the Warlock gets the curse. Wow. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, as long as I can see him, at least. So I okay, yeah, sure you you can him. see him. So let's... Uh, yeah, Let's do the all eyes on you. Well, yeah. where the fuck was that? Anyway, that 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 should be good enough. Uh, so there we go. He is he is crucified. Who do you? What do you? What you doing now? All right. So I'm going to use one of my encounter powers. I'm also going to be spending my felmite for this. I'm going Ooh. to use. Cr Cruel Bounty, and I'm going to attempt to say, uh, to communicate to my demons in the Twisting Nether, hey, I need help with my friend getting the you claw off this call guy. You calling it the Twisting Nether? You want us to get sued by Blizzard? Yeah, dude. Okay. Okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. In the Nether world. <laughs> there you go. The Shadow Or the realm. Void. The Void. How about that? Yeah, yeah Void. Yeah, sure. All right, so I communicate with my pals in the void. I'm like, hey, help my friend here get this claw by any means necessary. And All right. So that's going to be a... Dude, Zep is not going to be happy about that. Oh, no, that's my damage. Whoopsie. <laughs> and, uh, roll, roll your, make your d20 roll. One. <laughs> Good. And Good the void, shit. The void just has like this dead No, no, no. I, I got this. I got this. So... Zep's gonna kind of look back over at you, look over at Elias, kind of you're gonna kind of see like you're gonna kind of feel some of the some of those little guys that you got working for you. It seems like what you were saying about an HR department really rung true, and they don't want to help out Elias right now. <laughs> I, I have a feeling like they don't like me very much. Right, They're kind of creeped out by him. So. Uh... I'm going to sacrifice a move in a minor and just uh, throw up Beguiling Tongue, and that'll end my turn. Wait, what? What? Um, sacrifice. Because oh, it's for the rest of the counter, I'm just going to put it up, just in case okay, I Okay, so later. you're just going to... Okay, yep. Trade down your move for your minor, use Beguiling Tongue. Plus mm -hmm. five bonus to your next bluff, diplomacy, or intimidate check during this encounter, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, next up, Cyclops. He's pissed. <laughs> Ah, uh, and he doesn't like being he doesn't like being swept at. Wait, hold on. Doesn't blue go first? No. It doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, no, at the bottom of the turn order, uh, Cyclops there rolled a a wonderful seven. Oh, okay. I thought none of them just, get uh... to go. None of them get to go until all of you guys get to go. Then it goes back up into the in the turn order. So since Cyclops is basically top of the turn order for the enemies, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, sure. Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. You think about it like that. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to go full surprise round. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. So, he's a bit cocky, right? He's the grizzled badass of the group, it seems, because he's going to violate that mark real good. I mean... I wouldn't call him a badass. <laughs> so, 
Do do do. Yeah, he is going to attempt to do a little one two a little one two blaster on uh on Elias here. I don't so like that. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a fun little double attack. And uh, he like might that. just end up stunning you and grabbing your ass. Uh, I can't be stunned, sorry. Mm. No, it's just... He, I, That's right. I mean, you're going to be a little bit... A little bit... A little bit thrown off, and then you, you, it's just a grab. It's okay. a grab attack. I'm letting you know, though, that I cannot be stunned. <laughs> it does... Good thing it doesn't fucking stun you, then. Okay. Uh, how's a 20 versus <laughs> AC sound? A 20 versus... That's going to hit, unfortunately. All right. Seven damage. I don't like this. Se second attack. I'm gonna turn to John and say I don't like this. <laughs> so you get punched by a crab claw. <laughs> I don't like this. The very thing I <laughs> attempted to get hoisted up on my own. It's like crab a holy claw. tree. Uh, also, uh, I believe when he violates a mark, something happens to him, right? Yeah, the, the first time he takes three plus my cruise modifier, which is my strength modifier. Right, yeah, because so of seven your, your, your Oh, so they feet. take... So they take damage. Yes, they do. Ooh. Zap. Yeah, so I see uh, his claw coming down. Well, and... let's... I, actually, uh, what is the exact line for... Uh, for for punishing... Oh, I'm say? sorry. It's when, in a, when they attack and hit. Is it... Uh, when an enemy attacks an it's, enemy within uh, three squares of you and hits? Yeah. I, I do not... I don't know if that actually technically counts as an attack. Let's see. Uh, it, I don't think. I might. think they just take damage. Yeah, let's let let's see. He's not quick. taking an opportunity attack. Divine or sanction. Uh, it is not an attack. Yeah. Tari takes radiant damage. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. So he's gonna take seven, right? Yep. I think. Yeah. One quick draw. My my not very shiny pistol hit him probably in the inside of his claw for seven damage. Doesn't do anything. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say watch. Well, the claw. actually. Uh, is that going to be a... That's going to be a 14 versus AC on the second attack. Elias, is that going to hit? 14? Okay, so you kind of... You shoot you shoot the claw and it kind of goes a bit wide. Yeah. Also, it's going to like... the second one. Nice. So... Nice ting uh, off the claw. Yeah. Cyclops, then... Is going to do. Let's see what you can do here, boy, buddy. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna sh shift scuttle over here. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. Okay, top of the round. Somebody take a picture. Okay, so next up, blue is going to one. Oh God. Two, three, four, five, five. Uh, six. Right? Oh, man. I don't like it. Six. They're, oh, God, they're trying to fly. And is going to. He's going to level his claw right at right at you guys. I don't like Kinda it. Kind of charge up a bit more than oh, usual. Oh, it's going to be a cone. Boom. Blast. So this is going to be a close blast four. Four? I mean, sure, why not? Sweet Jesus. I mean, damn. So that is going to be a four by four square that he can just put out here. Oh, look, that'll target uh, Patton, John, and Elias. I don't like it. Woof. This is a this is a good encounter power. I like this encounter power. Please. Looks like he's trying to blow you guys into the water. Hey Zepp, uh, evacuate the area real quick. Uh, how does nineteen versus Will on all of you guys sound? Holy oh, shit! Yeah, that one hit. It, hits a ah, it gets me. It hits all of you. Brilliant. Yep. Uh, take seven thunder damage. What the fuck? <laughs> And you're gonna get pushed three squares. Hey. So oh. Patton is gonna go womp, womp, womp. John is gonna go womp. Dun, dun, kinda skid a little bit onto the ice. 
And Elias is just going to go do, do, do onto the ice as well. <laughs> the fish starts eyeing you up. Blue looks very self-satisfied. Next up, John. Do I think killing the fish is going to have a positive impact on our fight with the crustaceous creatures? Do you? I mean, very obviously, yes. Yes, right? Yeah, it looks like he's holding people still so these guys can blow their faces off with explosions. Okay. Let's see. I take take a step towards him? Yep, you can shift Which is fine? for free. Okay, That's cool. not hard. And I'm going to use my... My battle crazed shotgun plus ones. It's a uh, daily ability. Ooh. What do that do? Well, I deal damage to myself equal to half my level, ignoring any resistances. Considered bloody mm-hmm. for all purposes till the till the end of my next turn. And I think that do- I think that act that uh yeah, not not an act at all. A gun. It does something when you're bloodied, right? Um. Yeah, the, when I'm bloodied, I get an extra plus 1d6 damage when I hit with the weapon. Okay, so you also, take 2 question. damage. Yep. I, I got half work resilience, gain mm-hmm. 5, 10 hit points when first bloodied. That's right now, right? Yep. yep. Okay, cool. Nice. I take how much? Uh, 2. Because you just said 2. Yeah, half your yep. level. So you're getting three temporary hit points. No, no, no. You you deal two real hit points to yourself, then you get oh, five. Yeah, yeah. Ordering. Okay, yeah. Because half my level is two. Oh no, it's one. Never mind. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, one. You take one. Yeah, so I'm down to twenty-seven right there. Yeah, and unfortunately, the artificer bonus of giving you uh, extra temp hit points isn't going to stack, because 10 hit points don't stack. So, what are you going to do to this poor innocent murder fish? Innocent well, murder innocent. fish. I'm going to slide right on up to him. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, you should feel really bad, because his defenses are garbage. Good, I was thinking <laughs> Blood of the Mighty. Oh, no. Damn, son. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's your uh, big old daily, right? That is a big old daily. So please flavor that uh that daily that you used of bloody in yourself there. Oh, will and I? this thing. So I choke up on the butt of the shotgun a little bit, which is very splintered. And that gives me mm-hmm. a much cleaner shot, but it also like I have splinters now. Like so I'm digs bleeding a little, a little bit, bit, you know, down the back of my down the back of the shotgun and stripping blood. Mm-hmm. And I say to the fish, Well this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. And I fucking demolish him. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking demolish it. him. <laughs> the, the juxtaposition here is Ooh. just sweet. Oh. <laughs> no. Splatter of <laughs> on the ground, and my 20 became an 8. I am. Use, your, use an action yeah. point. You can't re roll it. Wait, wait, wait. No. I think I might have something for this. Do I have something for this? No, no, no. What, what did it come up to total? It was an 8, so that would be uh, 17. 17 total? It's just that it was a 20 second And uh, effect, you take 5 damage, which can't be reduced in any way, right? Versus what? 17 versus what? 17 versus AC. Just so you know, that's going to hit by a a country fucking mile. I assume. This thing might get one shot. Jesus. How much damage does this do? Four weapon plus my strength modifier. Four, four weapon, weapon plus four, so one four d twelve plus one d six. Jesus Christ! He ain't, he's shooting a fish with a damn shotgun. Literally, <laughs> it's like shooting fish yeah, in a barrel. Like, literally, in a barrel. I'm gonna one right here, if I can do that. Yeah, you can. Okay, that's better. Twelve plus seven plus seven. That's twenty six or something like that. Yeah, yeah. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 damage. Fucking hell. <laughs> Actually, it's 41. No, he's not, in, he's, not in he's, the, not uh, he's not in the aura. Wait, can you guys see the aura that I put on too? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's not in it. Yeah, it's not in it. So, 37 oh. damage, you said. Are you sure? So, 4d12, so 4d12 plus 1d6 plus 5 came up to 37. Yeah, I got a 12, 7, 7, 4, and 3. 
Jesus. Isn't it so, three squares of the eye? No, the eye is the eye is right next to Twitchy. Yeah. So, uh Oh, on my screen. How would you it's like to right explode this fish? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've leveled the shotgun with his head. It's it's laying down in the ground. Right? It's got like four little limbs. No, yeah, it's kind of it's got two little limbs. It's poking up from a hole. Oh, okay. Like it's half in the water. It's so, no longer poking up from a hole. That's scattered across the rest of the ice. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely fucking deleted. Uh, you know, for about a couple, you know, 30 or so feet, there's just a blood spray on the ice. Uh, question, like a Quentin Tarantino are, movie. Is any bit of it still intact? Uh, the bit that's sinking <laughs> to the bottom. Is there any way that I can make a grab for it? No. Okay. All right, and then I stand straight back up, and I take the little metal doodad that that Patton gave to me. Click, click. I pump my shotgun. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I'm going Damn. to turn, look at John, be a little wide-eyed, uh, attempt to say something, and then just not say anything. <laughs> All right, next up, right, Patton. All right. I was not expecting the fish to get one shot. <laughs> this was not what the this was not what you had planned. Fuck fish. <laughs> you see, I, okay, these guys—they're a bit new to working together like this. Blue just fucked the blue fucked his friend there. He ruined his day. <laughs> ruined a little bit more than that. that like if this was if this was like you know a match of Overwatch or something, the fish would be typing in all chat like, "Thanks, dude." <laughs> That's the, right. the last thing the fish says is need heal. <laughs> need healing. All right, Patton, I need you're up. healing. Okay, Patton. All right. Let's see. Gonna, Magic weapon. I'm gonna here. cough just a little bit. I believe someone has to <laughs> trust me. <laughs> how right, how hurt is Elias? Uh, one looking? point above bloodied. Okay. That's common knowledge, right? We can talk about. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can okay. talk about that. Yeah, I'm one point above bloody, so. <laughs> yeah, you, you're fine. He's low. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can. Yeah, you want to be up next to them for the. Uh... Do the magic weapon, yeah. yes. Let's see. I can go. So, the only one, way that you can get adjacent two, to both of them. Three, you're gonna have to, and then I can shift here. No, no, no. Right? Or can I just you're gonna have to step on the out onto the, terrain. Yeah, you're gonna have to step out onto the ice. Uh, stepping onto the ice there and keeping your footing is going to take a uh, check. Okay, but an athletics. Does or he have to make a check for checks. every square or just the initial? No. If you want to move across or into the ice, you're just gonna need to make a check. Moving. What about moving off of the ice? Not as much now. Okay. All right, let's let's try. Right, I'm gonna try and move uh, next to John and Elias. Yep. Okay. So wait. So right up there. I step onto the ice, and I'm gonna roll with acrobatics, which is a one. Hell yeah. I got a five. You got a five? Oh. So let's just do this little whoop. marker right here. Uh, you step out onto the ice and just whoop fall. <laughs> Fall just prone. fall and slide right into John. That's our doc. Slides up to John. I think you get a... John stops him with his boot. Yep. <laughs> hey, guys. Before, before he slides into the hole where the fish used to be. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, like, jump up out of the ice, so immediately fall on my ass, slide to John. He stops me with my boot. I, I'm, like, spinning around in circles. I stop... Reach into my pocket, hand Elias a potion. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, here here's your a curative admixture. <laughs> here you go. Now, does so that just you know being do I have prone to use gives it you a No, no, no. It's yeah, what it is just is uh, his, uh, the target regains hit points equal to your healing surge value plus four. On uh, my healing surge, and value I, plus I four? spend an infusion. Yeah, you don't spend a heal. You yeah, don't yeah, spend yeah. a healing surge. Oh, cool. So, uh, so I get it. spends one of my special right now. So you do not. You get a plus, you get a minus two to attack rolls in mm -hmm. general, but uh, yeah, you so that's move minor. And uh, what'd you like to do for your standard? From a standard, <laughs> you can uh, let's trade it down to a move to stand up. I mean, that's probably yeah. kind of dumb, though. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
use magic weapon yep. on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Just, all right, guys, let's do this. So magic weapon, like I flavored it before. So I reached in, grabbed the, uh, the, uh, p- the patent pending, um, fuck, what, what did I call it before? You can call it a different thing each time. I think it's yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take out uh, Dr. Patton's patent pending uh, potion of vigor and malice. And that's what I had to Elias. Now I'm going to reach down in there. I'm going to take out another potion. Dr. Patton's patent pending laudanum liquidator. I'm going to uncork that. And its invigorating aroma will waft around us. So I'm going to roll magic weapon. I'm going to hit Cyclops. Alrighty. So that's a plus, so a d20 plus 9 to attack. And, uh, yeah, minus 2 because you're prone. So plus 7. Alright, so plus 7. God damn it, I got a 10. 10 total? I got a, I rolled a 3. Yeah, that's not gonna hit. <laughs> Dude, the crossbow <laughs> shot does not even come close to penetrating this thing's carapace. Jeez. Are you a so, changeling by chance that's also a wizard? I mean, clearly. <laughs> Stop making inside joke references to other games, assholes. Okay, next up, Elias, unless whoa, Patton whoa, wants to do anything. Alright, uh, so, it's my turn. Uh, unless Patton wants to spend an action point or something. No, Try I'm again. fine here. I'm fine laying down for now. <laughs> what is I my life? To think about. Okay. My turn? Okay. <laughs> I don't even I know why I got decisions. this <laughs> So, 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 uh, after watching John totally fucking destroy that fish, <laughs> I'm feeling like I should, t- I should maybe not feel like so worthless and do something. Mm-hmm. Feeling, feeling kind of cool now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift up to Cyclops. Yep. And I am going... Are you leaving the ice? Yeah, but... Sh- Shifting that. It's shifting off of it. So I'm going to make mm-hmm. a cool little okay. fine. little hop off the ice. And I am going to use my stunning palm attack. Alright, and you're just going to gonna go for that, that you're going to kind of swagger on up there? Yeah, so what I'm Roll what it. I'm looking to do here is uh, I'm using my quarter staff. So I kind of push myself off with the quarter staff to hop on back onto shore. And I'm going to size up this crab. And basically what I want to do is try and immobilize it. To, uh, so I can get get that fucking claw because I want it. All right, go for it. And this is going to be uh, plus six versus fortitude. And does the punishing yep. eye give me any benefits to hit? Does not give you any benefits to hit. Okay, I don't think I have anything else that gives me benefits to hit, right? Nope. Uh, oh. You got like a feat that gives you bonuses if you slide shit. I think. Yeah, but not yet. Okay, I haven't slid anything yet. So stunning palm yep. attack. Go for it. Six versus four. <laughs> nope. That's uh that's, What did you roll? That's an eight. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna hit, but I believe uh, it does something on a miss. On a miss? So basically I'm I'm aiming at uh, a weak spot that I've identified in its carapace. But uh, Yeah, you find a uh, you find like what you think is a pressure point in the like in the center of its abdomen at the bottom that if you if you hit it just right its limbs will lock up. Yeah. But uh I'm not Some gonna sort be of able nerve to... cluster. I'm not going to be able to get at it, but uh, I am going to get two D eight plus four damage. So yeah, you kind of you kind of go for a go for an immobilizing blow there, but you kind of fuck up and just cause it immense pain instead. Whoops! Four, six, uh, ten damage. Uh, wait, you rolled a four and a six? No, I rolled a four and a two, which is six plus four. Alrighty. Yep, so that'll be 10 damage. And, and my uh, stance ends. Na- oh, that ends the stance? That ends my stunning Ooh. stunning palm stance. And uh, as a minor, since it looks like it didn't go so well, I'm going to activate... I'm going to uh, take out my, my pocket dagger again and uh, mm-hmm. reach underneath my shirt because I don't want to cut my s- nice suit up and uh, stab my, my nice stone armor and uh, get plus five, five temporary points. hit points because it's looking like this is going to go poorly again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, next up is going to be Twitchy who is going to go scuttle, 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 scuttle. 
Actually, he's uh, going to scuttle up here, then scuttle. Also, they can go across the ice, no problem. Yeah, I kind of figured. Wow. Do, do, do. Actually. Actually. He's going to go up here. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no. you got to mismatch again. those positions. So, what he's going to do is he's going to kind of hold his claw up in the air. And he's going to bring it down slowly and he's going to kind of scrape. And just make a really painful sound. So, what this is going to do is this is going to be a... Oh, it's close burst. It's not range. Never mind. Oh, that's still good anyway. Uh, close burst three. What? Yep. <laughs> yeah, sure. So targeting you, targeting uh, these three guys again: Elias, Patton, and John. Man, fuck crabs. <laughs> and uh, yep, this is gonna be versus Will again. Ooh, that's a that's a nice old seventeen on the die. Wow. On the die. Yeah, yeah that's a twenty-three. That's yeah, that's gonna hit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's never good uh, when that the is DM going to is be, happy. It's going to be nine psychic damage, and you're all marked by Twitchy. <sighs> wow. Yep, you're going to take a big old penalty to attacking anything that isn't him. So. You say nine damage? Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm going to like peek over this tree I'm hiding behind, and kind of like turn around, sit down, and thank my. <laughs> Thank whatever uh, deity I would pray to that just I'm not near them. I am bloody. <laughs> just I'm over here. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, you are you you guys are all marked by Twitchy, which means if you attack anybody who isn't him, you're going to be taking a negative two to the to that attack roll. So Twitchy is kind of making this horrific, ear rending sound, very clearly directed at you guys. And it's really throwing your mojo off. Hey, I, I However, gotta... it's also infuriating. So you're going to be taking a penalty to attacking anything that isn't that source of horrific noise. Quick question for my for my yeah. next move. Uh, Drunken Monkey says that I can uh, I can make the target make a melee basic attack against an enemy mm -hmm. of my choice. Can that target be itself? Uh, no. Okay. Just checking. So. Uh, just make it punch it. So. Essentially. So, yeah. also, uh, Cyclops is bloodied, by the way. I forgot to mention. Oh, okay. Cyclops is bloodied. Okay. So, next up, Jerry. All right. So, what I'm going to do here... Um, Help, maybe? Move. One, two, three. <laughs> I can get the fuck Wait, where are, you, where are you going? <laughs> you... Well, I'm going to try and move right here. Yep. So, I'm going to move right here. And I'm going to, as a minor, curse blue real quick. Okay. And then I am going to... Let me check my range real quick. Help. So I believe One, you've, got, you've got a couple two, of ranged attacks. Uh, your four, five. Oh, your uh, hand of blight is range 10, right? Yeah. So I'm yep. thinking I'm going to use that. Yeah, the, um, Cyclops is bloodied after all. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use yep. Hand of Blight, which is a 1d20 plus 7, but with Blood Hunt, my Tiefling Racial, that becomes plus 8. Yep, you're, you're, you're sensing this might make some good TV right now. Yeah, let's uh throw with a TV 15, sense tingling. 15 versus Fortitude. 15 versus Fortitude? Wow. You rolled like shit. Damn. <laughs> You rolled a seven. That's the name of the game, baby. Uh, but as part of uh, Shade Walk, I'm going to get uh, Concealment. Yeah, no, the, he shrugs that off. You get the same feeling the Fortitude is pretty good. Jerry? Yeah. Jerry? He's, he's, he's got a, he's got a shell. <laughs> One person has actually hit something. I hit. Oh, uh, that feels familiar. I'm, going to, I'm actually going to Action Point. Okay. He did do it, it again. He fucking destroyed <laughs> it. No, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna change my mind since that didn't work. I Jerry. am going to use Curse of the Dark Dream on blue. Makes sense. I and like it. So that's going to be another one d twenty plus eight. No, it's not. It's seven because he's not bloodied. 
Oh, right. So 1d20 plus 7 versus Will. It's a 25. That'll hit. I mean, Will okay. garbage. <laughs> the crabs. <laughs> so that's going to be 3d10 plus 5. Yep. For the first. That's a lot. Holy fuck. I mean... And that's going to be oh, a 22 oh. damage to Blue. That's a lot of damage. And uh, would you like to throw in your curse damage as well? Yes, I will. I deal a fucking d8. And that's going to be oh, 5. So 27 damage in total to Blue. <laughs> All right, that that'll bloody him. One shot bloodied. And as a uh, minor action on my next turn, uh, save ends for him. I'll be able to slide him one square. Yep. Until the effect ends, you can slide the target one square. I'm a moron. Right. I could have done an extra. I could have done an extra uh, six damage to Cyclops. Uh, no, you couldn't. You can't do uh, center flurry of blows on a fucking miss. No, I isn't isn't that a hit though? Nope. It's a miss. Oh, it's e even though it does the damage. Miss miss damage. damage. Yep. Oh, okay, that's weird. Next up, Cyclops. He's pissed. Oh no. Mm. Uh, he is no longer divine sanctioned in any nope. way. Not so even he's got free reign to go after this creepy elf, who's right in front of him. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not liking this. <laughs> this. this you just keep not... being right in front of this. This is that not like my outings like previously. <laughs> I'm feeling ooh, slightly ooh. outclassed here. He's just gonna he's gonna claw it, yeah. He's gonna do that double claw. Oh double attacks again? The yep, shot. double ah. attack. Do 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 so. Uh that'll be a twenty four versus AC. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Three damage. What, that's it? Whew. Yeah. Whew. Smacks ya. Okay. <laughs> Just, it's 17 just, just, like, versus oh, AC. I'm not dead. Uh, 17 versus AC, no hit. Yeah. So you've been getting into kind of a drunken barroom brawl with this giant crab <laughs> where you're both kind of whiffing. The first one kind of grazes me. I'm like, huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the way it goes is like the first hit, he kind of scrapes you a little bit, and the second one is just completely wide. So, next up, top of the round, Blue, somebody take a screenshot. I got it. Alright. Blue does not appreciate being cursed and then blasted. He's gonna look over at the big the big fight, look down at Jerry. Doesn't Jerry have scuttle. concealment, though? Scuttle, 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 yes. Partial concealment. Ah, okay. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. <laughs> He's pissed. And I'm like... A smile just crosses Actually, my face. Actually, he started up right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. And he is going to blast you. He's trying to push you into the, to the fray. So how many penalties is he taking for doing this right now? <laughs> uh, a lot. You have a lot of bonuses to all your defenses, right? Yeah. So... I think, doesn't, isn't the concealment like minus two to hit for him or minus three? It should be minus two. Mm -hmm. And. I'm, yes. Uh, and with the curse. Actually, okay, so here's the thing though. You are getting a plus two to all of your defenses for this because of your armor, right? Mm hmm. However, he's blasting you. That doesn't give a shit about concealment. Oh. Low splash four. Get rocked. So, levels the claw. Boom, he's going to try and send you rocketing. Uh, that is going to be a 14 versus Will. That's not going to hit, my friend. Shit. Also, just as a, just to make sure, where exactly is Lil Bro right now? Lil Bro, so my screen, he's right above Cyclops. Uh, he's yeah, once... he's up in one square up into the right of Cyclops. Okay, on mine, he's just directly above That's Cyclops. Weird. 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 Okay, so next up, John. All right, you're marked I'm by seeing... Twitchy. What? You're marked by Twitchy. Yes, I'm. I'm aware. It's very annoying. <laughs> So he's within three. Yeah, yeah, he's in squares. the area. So I'm hearing this noise. This is something awful. So I yep. slide on up there. Mm -hmm. 
As long as I'm taking the step, I take a swig out of my. We, we ruled I, I can lay on hands yes. myself, right? Yes, you can lay on hands yourself. I need it, but that. do it too much and you'll go blind. <laughs> yeah, I've, we've been over that then. Cool. Okay, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm going to remove the boot icon because he's no longer holding me with his foot. No, no, the boot was just for you being prone. Yeah. The boot is oh, prone. I thought it was He's just because he had me with his foot. No. <laughs> boot is prone. Boot. Okay. That's boot. So uh lay on so you lay on hands yourself and get yourself that healing surge? Yep. I walk up to him and I've got Heedless Fury. Oh jeez, he's going ham. <laughs> I am upset. This is the most annoying thing I've uh, ever I read. believe you're still counted as blood. Oh, you're just actual bloodied, though. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. Oh, no, wait, no, you aren't. Right now. But yeah, uh, is it end, end of, of next, turn? next turn? Which is the end okay. of this turn. So, you're still so you still count as bloodied? Yes. Okay, go for it. I got it. Go for it. 18 versus AC. 18 versus AC? Yeah. Uh, that will not hit. Uh, uh, so yeah, and you don't have the you don't have the power bonus anymore. Mm -hmm. Does it do anything on a miss? No. Uh, that one might be reliable though. It's not. Nope. Uh, the uh, oh you and it doesn't do anything on a miss for the uh, defense penalty. Cool. So you just take a big old shot, goes a bit wide into the into the ice. Next up, Patton, you guys are rolling like shit. Please roll better. I I, I did. <laughs> I can't help it. I mean, right. oh wait, did you nine, did you give your? Awful. Did I what? Oh, you got a nine plus your nine. Okay, I thought you might have been uh, giving yourself the the negative. Never mind. So no. move right. action, so stand up. Movement, I'm gonna stand up. Yeah. No more boot. I stand up, dust myself <laughs> off. All right, I know what to do here. I reach into my bag and I pull out a car battery. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Are you gonna? Are you gonna heal yourself? Do you want to heal yourself? I don't need to heal myself. I need to hit him with this car battery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so fire. where does he keep getting? I go this? in there. I've got my thick gloves on. I think it's the same I one. It's wrapped around it. It's, it's the same one. I grabbed it back. <laughs> so spike wire. So I ready it up. I un I unfurl the barbed wire on this battery. I start swinging it around. Throw it up in the air towards Twitchy. Mm -hmm. And roll it. It is plus six. Please. Versus four. Please. That is 17. Versus that really will good. hit. Oh, oh fuck my god! Yes. Finally. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So one d eight plus four mm -hmm. force damage. Well, one d eight plus eight because he's in the eight. he's in the aura. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. One d eight. That's a good roll. All right. That's not let's get this. Die. Let's get this shit going. Yeah. There's my eight. Okay. Eight. Whoa. Plus four, plus uh, four from Punishing 16. Eye. Sixteen. So sixteen damage. Max that damage, sounds like yes. sixteen. All right. Uh, and what does what does Spike Wire do? So, uh, until the end of my next turn, any attack deals extra damage to the target equal to my Wisdom modifier, which is four. That stacks. So it's that thing's you know taking plus eight damage to all attack rolls that you make on it. Nice. Uh, plus four damage. Uh, yeah, that's right. And punishing eye. So yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, so, so the I'm way gonna... that it works is that punishing eye is uh, when an ally attacks an enemy with three squares of the eye and hits that enemy takes psychic damage equal to your intelligence modifier. Uh, mm -hmm. Spike wire is any attack deals extra damage to the target equal to your wisdom modifier. I think both will yeah. will stack with uh, flurry of like blows. Like if John hits them. Oh. Okay. It's I pretty my, the, Yeah, spike wires on Twitchy and punishing yeah. I can cover. So both of them, Elias, gonna spend right. an action. Oh, your action point. Action oh, hold, point. slow your roll. Oh, dude, you know I'm gonna action point. I'm reaching to my satchel. I'm grabbing Doctor Patton's patent pending grave away. <laughs> Uncork that. 
take a quickie sippy because I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> Wait, uh, I don't think you need to. You haven't spent a minor action this turn, have you? No, that's what I'm doing. I'm using my curative admin. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to action charge. point for that. You don't have to action point for that. You're fine. Oh, you used oh, a move action right, to stand right. up and then a standard action to attack. Okay, all right then. Yep. So for minor, going to pop... Gonna pop the cork on that. Took, take a quickie sippy. Yep. So, so my healing Elias. surge value plus four. Yep. Just heal yourself which up. Which is all right. Da, 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 da. So eleven. Mm -hmm. So I'm noticing that is Twitchy bloodied or not? No, but you like are it. marked by him. Yeah, I'm noticing that Twitchy is really annoying, and we've got that drone, <laughs> drone on him, and he's he's got a, wing, wing, a car wing. battery um, on him. Yeah, he's being electrocuted <laughs> as we speak. I'm feeling like this is yeah, a good opportunity like to hop up, up and uh, ruin his day. So I'm going to use my full discipline, uh, five mm -hmm. storms. I'm going to use yep. the movement action from that to shift two squares. Yep. So that will. I and since you're roll. shifting, it's fine. Yep. Yep. No, no uh, opportunity attacks or anything. So I'm going to nope. pull vault out and away from uh, Cyclops with my my handy dandy staff slide onto the ice, and use uh, five storms. Yep. S plus six versus reflex. Ooh. Finally, something not targeting fortitude. I can't roll. <laughs> what I can't roll? roll for shit. It's an 11. <laughs> that won't hit. No. Do you have an action point by any no, chance? Yeah, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to action point and use, or actually, what is this? No, 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 this is... I'm gonna fuck that. I'm using Elven Accuracy. Oh, oh yeah, go that's for that. That's free. That's free. That's an encounter power. Reroll. So I'm gonna reroll that. So as I'm sliding up, it's looking like I'm not gonna hit, so I'm gonna quickly readjust. I'm uh, dreading rolling right now. Go <laughs> for it. Just do it. Fuck, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hit worse. Action point? I am act I'm hitting this, okay? Action point. Reroll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same thing again? Sake. I know how I'm flavoring this if you manage to finally fucking hit. Okay. Gods of D D bless my fucking dice. <laughs> no, it's the same. <laughs> you you fucked up. Dude, so Twitchy lives up to his name and he's too fast. Every time you try and go for him, he's Not just me. he's just fidu, fidu, you're attacking I've after him. This, this is the poorly. fastest crab. I have never rolled this poorly. And next up is <laughs> Twitchy. Hold on. Do I have anything I could do with a minor? Anything at all? No. Yeah, no, I don't. Cry? <laughs> so, Jeez, Twitchy. I've never rolled that. He's scuttling. Way. He's gonna scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this mark is. So, everybody who's already gone, so John and Patton, uh, the. No longer marked? No. Well, I forgot to declare it, so yes. No longer marked. That one's actually a save ends for when the other ones use that power. Oh, okay. Oh, so just oh, get rid of the mark. Ends? So we're not marked by Twitch anymore. You are not marked by Twitch anymore. He stops. He was focusing too hard on dodging. But next up, okay. Twitchy. The fastest the fast. crab. He's he's very upset. He, he's fast. Uh, so, Twitchy is going to shift back. One square. Uh oh. And uh, he's going to target John with that same noise thing, but it's very centered, just on him. And it seems like he's mocking you at this point. I like it. <laughs> That'll be like a 21 versus fortitude. The, the, the misses, I'm sorry. I have very high, very low. Bullshit. <laughs> Don't you lie to me. <laughs> six, six psychic damage and you're marked. Until the end of his next turn. Okay. <laughs> so this is awful because now everyone gets to listen to this. It's not just a friendly game of D&D &D with friends. Now everyone gets to know that I missed three fucking rolls in a row. I, excuse me, I just fucking ate shit on the ice. <laughs> and fucking spun it into John's We're boot. We're good at this. 
I mean, that fish got destroyed, though. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Just the mental image All of that right, fucking so... fish. He just kind of I... looks up, and then his face is gone. <laughs> I was going to, like, turn around and see the fight going on. I see that Patton is kind of bleeding a little bit, and but I see that Elias and John seem to be doing okay, so I'm just going to turn back around and look at Blue, because he All just right. tried to hit me. He, he did. He didn't do very well. I got a good Are shot you... of it, but I didn't think I liked it. So I'm going to move here, and I'm going to mm -hmm. move. I'm not going to shift. I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yep. I'm gonna... Does that provoke an opportunity attack? Uh, No, but do remember that you have, you have uh, reach one. Well, that's not exactly what I'm going for here. Oh, no. So I'm going to move here. Yeah. Does that provoke an opportunity attack? I mean, what? okay, what the fuck are you trying to do? I'm trying to <laughs> lay a trap card for this crab. Are you, You're trying to get it to, to attack you? Yes. You are trying to get it to opportunity attack you? Yes. Because <laughs> uh, then I can, like, re retaliate. What? You have yeah. a power that does that? Since yeah. fucking when? <laughs> Infernal Wrath, motherfucker. Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. <laughs> Wait, so you I guess. purposefully provoked an opportunity attack? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting in closer for another shot. Okay, so yeah, the crab is perplexed. <laughs> and he's just gonna... Eh. Attack you. Ten versus AC. <laughs> it missed! I was really, I was really hoping for a attack. 20. <laughs> Alright, so since he missed, I'm going to be a little, look a little bit disappointed because me getting hit, that would be very entertaining for the viewers. So I'm just going to smack this guy really nicely. Hopefully. Eh. With? It's very nice. With uh, Eldritch Strike. And so since this is the first I'm, time we've actually seen your weapon. What is, what is your weapon, by the way? Out of my jacket, I pull out a chain with a lot of barbed wire intertwined in between Just it. With us in barbed Ooh. wire. It's and, useful. And it almost looks like the barbed wire is glowing a little bit, kind of like a, mm -hmm. with like a greenish fire kind of deal. So mm -hmm. I'm going to hit this dude with an Eldritch Strike. And Hell since yeah. I am the closest to him, plus one to attack. And since he is bloodied, another plus one to attack. So Holy let's shit. do... Why is this guy the most competent? He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> let's give him a chance to fail. <laughs> 1d20 <laughs> plus 12. That's a 24, my guy. Shut up. Versus uh, AC. No, you get you get a plus one bonus to ranged attack rolls when you aren't when you're close to him. So you only got a 23 Shut versus up. AC. Get it right. It's not like that hits or anything. It hits. What's <laughs> okay. the damage? The damage is uh, 2d4 plus 5. Nice. That ain't bad. And then that is bad damage. And would and you then, like to apply some curse damage to that? Never mind. And then 1d6, 2, so 12 damage health in total. Is he dead? No. No? Okay, so I'm going to slide him... Can I slide him off the map? No. Uh, no. Just push cannot. him right off the table? <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> okay. I want to slide Just him... slide him a square. It's not like the world ends where the map ends. I mean... But I don't think he can move him. Yep, uh, there you go. Let's move him that way. Blue's getting getting thoroughly whipped around. However, the camera isn't on you because the the shit show going on on the ice is far more interesting. Do you yeah, else? over here beating up this crab and we're getting our shit kicked. <laughs> um, as a miner, I'm going to roll. Oh, I'm going to try. Actually, I'm uh -huh. going to try and convince this crab to chop off one of his claws. <laughs> how? how? <laughs> Is that an intimidate check? That is most certainly an intimidate in check. Okay. It's a standard action in combat. Also, that's not something you can do. Also, it's a fucking crab. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> see crab. crab. Can I please have one of your claws? No, like, I can only imagine Zoygman is just like, pussy one. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, their I'm other done, crab is super stubby. It it now. Even so it's, that's, a sta other that's a standard claw. action in combat. Yes. And don't don't uh, do it. It won't work. Also, they're action crabs. Point. It won't work. No, <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless you want the action point to attack, because you didn't spend your action point yet, right? Uh, no, I think I did. You did? Yeah, I did. Okay. 
Uh, and so, my turn, yeah. Cyclops. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. He is genuinely surprised he's still standing. Probably because you were all marked. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, he's going to start doing the noise thing on all three of you. Oh, my God. Oh, cool. Now I'm marked twice. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, nat 20, boys. Nat 20, boys. Oh, my God. Eight psychic damage. Run, run. Eight, eight psychic damage, and you're all marked by Cyclops. <laughs> that uh, supersedes the mark on, from Twitchy. Twitchy looks oh, cool. mildly annoyed. Cool. Hey, I'm not bloodied. I'm marked. Cyclops clacks his claws together in joy. Clack, clack, Optic clack. blast. So, next up, blue. Blue. Hold on, let me uh, take a screenshot real quick. Yep. For the viewers at home to see how utterly fucked we are. <laughs> I'm going... You guys are getting done in by these crabs. I'm going to kill Stop. this crab. So, next up. Blue is very, very thoroughly trapped by the warlock. So he's gonna. He's trapped he's between a warlock him. and a hard He's gonna, gonna claw at him. Claw, claw. Claw, claw, claw. 14 versus AC. That, my friend, is Just... not gonna hit. Claw, 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 claw. God, I want to use versus a... AC? Oh, 27, you say? That's gonna hit. Four damage. <laughs> All right, I'll take I'll take four damage, but here's he the thing. That's his first damage he's taken. It must be nice on that side of the map. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> Elias so looks I'm, over I'm at Jerry my... <laughs> with a vague sense of jealousy. I'm gonna take my two damage, and then <laughs> I'm going to activate to my infernal wrath. So you, my friend, get to take one d six plus five. That's Fire eleven. Damage. Nice. So upon hitting me, <laughs> bust out the butter sauce, boys. <laughs> <laughs> My looks like his goose goose is over. He's cooked. cooking slightly, Ooh. and his legs curl up. Uh, how intact are his claws? Oh, uh, one of them's fairly intact. Okay, good. Wait, can, one. can I like just pull one of those off? Yeah, yeah. You can you can put out the fire and grab grab a claw. It's a bit fire damage though. One that. One ripped off of a uh, of a live specimen would be best. Yeah. So who's it's good that we got a backup though. So next up, since Blue just got completely fucked, John. <laughs> Cyclops. Okay. Cyclops is clacking at you. Keep clack, clack, clack. Clack. I don't like clack. clack. Clack clack clack. I'm, I'm gonna turn one. to John and say, John, we're in a tight spot here, my friend. Uh, if you could, maybe. Um, do that shotgun thing again. <laughs> All right. Uh, what what check is it to get off the ice? Uh, if you're just shifting, nothing. Yeah, you can shift forward one square. Yeah, you can shift forward one square okay. and be fine. But if I want to run, it's what if, check? Uh, athletics or acrobatics. But you don't really cool. need to. I know. Uh, Cyclops has you marked though. Yes. So, big old penalty to attacking anything that isn't him. Okay, this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm real pissed off. I take a running start. I'm moving down. Yep. I, I I roll right here. Also, cord uh, strength. Wait, what is what is that one? Cords strength. Have haven't you already used a channel divinity power this encounter? It doesn't you say use it lay is. Hands right on the card at the top. Yeah, there should be what, some what keywords. Cord strength. Divine? Yeah. Oh, the other ability to say channel divinity, you can only use one channel divinity power Wait, per let encounter. Me, let me see this. Where's, so I assume I don't the ones that don't you, say you, you can only use one power. per encounter, I could use more, but else I wouldn't have taken that as a as the power. Wait. What Oh, is that your uh is that your is that your level two utility? Yes. Oh I thought you had blessed weapon. Strength. No yeah, that that's fine. No, I'm I'm borrowing strength from my god to do this real cool action roll because he thinks it's important too. Tact cool roll. Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the important thing. So I get plus five to my yeah, to my athletics, which is up here, mm -hmm. which is already a five. So I get plus ten to my athletics. 
I got a 15. I got a 25. 25. 25? Yeah, that, that'll make the athletics check. Uh, what does Quick Spring do? He swoops right check. over. Alright. So I roll right up to him, and uh, it gives me a plus two power bonus to yeah, melee rolls and target that with melee attack are subject to my divine sanction until the end of my next turn. Mm -hmm. And I come at him with a ardent strike. Alrighty. Was twenty five. Twenty five. That'll Where's hit. That, that 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 hits. Nice. We hit. We did You're it. Actually, bloody this time, so it, you still get that bonus. Uh, oh, yeah, also, I don't know if you like. Uh, you've never used it yet, but it's kind of your paladin class feature, the divine challenge thing, the actual oh. minor action mark that you have. Does that do something different from them being marked? Yes, they're, they're okay, two slightly okay. different things, and also you can use that to, since you still have a minor action, you can use that to mark Twitchy. Oh, you could do it from range. Yeah, it's oh, a, close, it's burst a close burst five, and you just mark something. I don't know how to play a paladin. Yeah, I was like, why isn't, like, every other turn you've used up all your actions pretty much. So I'm like, oh, you like, just don't I've got 11 that HP, I'm just, I was planning well, on Well, actually, so the other thing about that is that you could also just not use it, because you probably want to use, like, a lay, out, lay on hands on yourself. That is my plan. Yeah, so then you aren't using it. <laughs> like, you've just been, you're, you've been uh, action-starved, kind of. So, what's the uh, yeah. damage there we'll on see. Cyclops? Damage on Cyclops, we got... D12 Good. plus 5 Seven. plus D6, right? Yeah. So that's a uh, 12... Plus 1d6, which I didn't roll. 17. Nice. 17? Ooh. Yeah, I got And then zap yeah, for five. four more. The four more does it. Exactly. Oh. Watch the claw! <laughs> no, so... I had a whole thing. So, Patton, that's, that's would cool. you like that zap to have killed it or just knocked it out? Um, It's not a very strong zap. Knockout? It, it, it's... Yeah, knockout. Alrighty. He's Cyclops is knocked out. Watch the claw. At exact zero. Nice. Perfect. So Yeah, I was gonna action point into a holy strike, but I mean that works too. We're doing it. Yeah. So now you could either like lay on hands on yourself or mark Twitchy. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to Twitchy. I'm coming for you next. <laughs> oh shit! Challenge. <laughs> he scuttles nervously. Jesus. <laughs> skitter scatters. That's that's my turn. Skittle, skitter, skitter, skitter. Okay. Uh, how long does spike wire last? End of next turn, right? Yeah. So it's gone now. And uh, wait, was it last turn that he's you managed to it? untangle? It was last turn, yeah. So okay, so the end of this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the so it's because I don't remember you whiffing on a magic weapon in between hitting with spike wire. No, he didn't. Yeah. Okay. So next up, Patton. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna move over here mm -hmm. next to Elias. Shift. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna shift. I'm gonna try another magic weapon on Twitchy. Go for it. All right, magic weapon D20 plus nine. Come on. I'm begging you. I got whoop, 12 plus 9, so 21. You finally hit something. Hooray. Yes. Wow. Oh, God, finally. So I uncork Dr. Patton's patent pending Moxie and Vitriol composer. Uh -huh. You're going to run out of these names eventually. <laughs> Um, I actually won't. <laughs> like, I will be able to do this as many times as possible. Oh my god! So I literally, I just have to prepare better. So how much? What's, so, what's the damage there? Pop that open. Aroma wafts, and uh, you know, I take a shot, throw it right at him. One d eight plus four, and then plus, a, plus another four because he's plus in the another eye. eight. Yep, six. So ten, and then plus another four, so fourteen damage. Plus another four because of zap. Guys, the other well, yeah. is doing it's, something. Uh, I rolled a six plus four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Fuck. Eighteen. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Eat shit. <laughs> I like to imagine Patton, Patton says in character. Shit. 
<laughs> right as he gets that. He's fucking. He's he's done with this. All right. He's, he's done. I imagine he's bloody. Being very happy right now. Who am I? Am I marked by Cyclops? Oh, hold on a second. Uh, you are hold not. On. You are marked not by uh, Cyclops, yeah. but and he's unconscious, so you guys aren't marked anymore. I still have a minor. Okay. Ooh. I was gonna toss Elias a potion because he's blind. Oh wait, you can't. You're out of him. You already used two. Did I use yeah. my second? Yep. One? Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, you're right. My bad. Never mind. All right, keep I, track I of that, guys. Down, but okay, I'm since I'm bloodied, right? Yeah. I knew I had this. What on are here What for are the reason. rules for coup de gras? Coup de gras. Uh, you can only you attack stuff that's completely helpless. So Cyclops is helpless. Remember, right? you have a plus He's one. He's at zero. He's out of the attack. attack roll. Well, okay, but see, what I'm thinking is here is, I'm scared to attack Twitchy. He's not going to come back up. Cyclops is Cyclops is dead well, yeah, for but, the what, intents and purposes of the encounter. I'm I, I'm just wondering like if it would be better if I walked up to Cyclops and got a really good clean cut of his claw off. Well, I you guess can I can do that, do that after that the fight. It won't yeah, do it anything won't do basically. Later. Okay, so I'm going to go up to Twitchy. Yep. Shift shift shift. Remember, you have plus 1 to hit and plus 4. Yeah, that's to not going to fucking matter. You've got plus 12 to damage if you hit. Jesus. Actually, no. no, plus 8 because you spike while I Yeah, yeah see. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm starting to see how alchemists work. Okay, now. so I'm, yeah. I'm gonna shift. Uh, I'm gonna shift. He- I'm gonna shift here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love how fucking terrified he is to do anything anymore. Well, okay, you know this is a little above my pay grade. <laughs> the real world's a scary place. <laughs> well, I've been out in the woods, but this is kind of like these crabs are like at least 1.5 times bigger than anything I've had to deal with before. These crabs are what John will refer to as the real world. <laughs> <laughs> on not... MTV. All right, so I'm gonna use. I'm going to attempt to uh, imp TV. I'm gonna attempt to five. What is this? Standard versus yeah, versus reflex is better than fortitude. Uh, I'm gonna try and five storms this guy. Okay, for once, go for it, please. Plus six to hit. You Come should. On. So statistically mm. speaking, you are you have a higher than fifty percent chance of hitting this. Yes, I know. But this doesn't really matter, does it? You have a you got a plus seven to attack? Mm-hmm. No, I didn't hit it. Mm. What did you roll? It doesn't matter. What did you roll? <laughs> what did you roll? A three. Jesus! So a nine total. <laughs> 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 a nine total. No, ten because of your plus one for patent. Yeah, you're fucking worthless. Jeez. I don't know what's going on, guys. <laughs> so next up, Twitchy. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's not entirely enthused with this. Twitchy, he's, he's finally shook off I the battery and barbed wire. So, he needs to go attack John, otherwise he's gonna get... He, he's taking a, some auto damage, but he's cocky. He doesn't care. Because he can't get to John. <laughs> so, he's gonna make a double attack roll on Elias. Do what does uh so divine sanction? I'm wondering if the mark that you put on him ends when he takes the damage. Uh, it doesn't say. It might say. Uh, so. Divine challenge. You mark the target. The mark lasts until you use this power again. The mark also ends. If- at the end of your turn, if you didn't engage the target, meaning you neither attacked it during your turn nor are adjacent to it at the end of your turn. Yeah, it's, that's all I see. Okay, the target takes radiant damage for the first time you try when it attacks any of your eyes. Like, oh, so it's just yeah. the first time. So I should have mentioned this. This shouldn't technically work, but I'd feel like a dick see, now. That's that's what I thought, but then you told me that it was a good idea. Yeah. This is not bad. I thought that it worked that you could actually mark something like this, but you gotta mark something and then actually be near it. Okay, so I know what. So happened. it's still going to work because my bad, I misread the power. The target takes radiant damage the first time it makes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's taking a minus two of these attack rolls, and he's gonna take some auto damage. Uh, how much auto damage is he taking? Seven. Okay, first attack roll. Yet, he, he's taking that damage proudly. Just fuck, just fuck yeah. off. <laughs> what you uh, that will be a fifteen versus AC. No, 
I second not, attack. I may not be able to hit anything, but I could dodge. Please. 24 versus AC. Ah, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Eight damage. I'm not feeling so high. Clack, clack, clack. <laughs> clack, clack, clack. I have four HP left. All right, next up, Jerry. All right, so I'm going to turn around and realize that the rest of the team has been doing a pretty good job without me. So <laughs> Pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you too. So let me see how far I can move towards the fight to get this shot. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. You, you can erase that if you want. So one. Yeah, what's your uh, what's your two, speed here? Six. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll move like right here. Right here. So let's do this. Holy shit, he's fast. So that, just that's run, average. I'm gonna just run over there. I'm gonna see that John and Elias are bleeding because I didn't see that earlier. I'm like, oh. They might not be as good at fighting as I am. Fuck you, <laughs> dick. Excuse me? <laughs> so, do, you, do you say this out loud? <laughs> no, I think it very loudly. Um, <laughs> With his mouth. <laughs> oh, uh, so something marked by you did die, so you do have your uh, fell might back again, right? Y you are right. I was about to say that, too. Please um, remember that. Yeah, I... <laughs> Announce that when it happens. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw my curse on Twitchy here. Mm -hmm. Throw a spotlight on him because he's he's the only one left, and I'm gonna use my fell knight. What attack are you using? It's gonna be hand of blight. All right, the target's fortitude, which is best defense. I mean, there's it's about the same yep. bonus here, so. Yep. So uh, you get your little plus one for attacking something bloodied, right? Yep. One d. So d twenty plus eight. Twenty right? plus eight. Yeah. I swear I'm going to force let's, dice. Let's see what I get. 17 versus fortitude. Just hits. Sweet. Nice. So you're going to take... 2d8 plus some bullshit. Yep, 2d8 plus 5. Yep. That's going to be 15 damage to Twitchy. Twitchy goes down. Ooh. <laughs> nice. As Twitchy, <laughs> as Twitchy falls, I'm going to say, well, <coughs> uh, good job, everyone. I think we made short work of them. You say while well, bleeding profusely. And I'm going to uh, nonchalantly walk up to... Uh, to More like a limp. Limp up to uh, Cyclops. And uh, uh, I'm going to carefully, before before anybody has time to do anything, cut off his claw, the big one. Okay. So you With go white. into overtime, right? You, you, you open this thing up and you start looking at it. And you start understanding how this mechanism... In his hand, works. I've got a knife. I've got a, a, a knife and tons of scalpels in my bag. Oh, that's right. That's right. right. You have the yeah. dagger and all that. I was gonna say, if you didn't have one, I'm sure Patton has something sharp. So it it seems like the what it's doing is a combination of uh, actual an actual physical mechanism being enhanced by I the guess. mana flowing through it, and you see, you notice as well that uh, it seems like the way that this creature is set up. It's unstable. Like it needs to vent out that mana, or else it might die. Hmm. Like the, pr it kind of builds this pressure up in the claw, and it just pops. Mm -hmm. That it needs to. That it needs to expand. Okay. Um. After cutting the claw off, I'm going to cut a uh, a section in the carapace at its head, uh, presumably where the brain stem is, and I'm going to. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to kill it. Okay. So you you. You go back to the... So you, you kill the creature, it kind of curls up a little bit. But it was you, it was important you, for me to cut the claw off before it died. Right. I was about to say, you fucking Yeah, you psycho. kind of see the, the tension in it dispense, mm -hmm. right? You do feel it kind of fire back in your hand. And at that moment, you kind of go into, you know, biologist mode, right? Yes. You think you figured out how this thing works. Not only that, you think it's applicable. Yes, I like where this is going. The way that it harnesses that, that energy within it, you kind of start to feel like maybe you could do something similar. With the claw right? itself? or No, just with your own movements. So the way that it works is that it's kind of storing up energy in the claw and then immediately releasing it. So maybe... 
just maybe you're thinking, instead of just going for a punch, instead of just going for an attack, build up tension, and right before the moment of impact, let it strike. So let the mana sort of pop out. Yeah. You know, build it up and pop. And so you, you kind of feel like a tingling in your arm while you're doing that. Right? Mm. And you kind of see your arm start to glow a tiny uh. little bit, like coursing through the veins. As you're kind of feeling your way through that. through that. Mm. And uh, this is going to be a new key focus for you. Ooh, I man. like this. Ooh, key so, focus. This is going to be a Reign of Hammers key focus plus one. What, and that's under key focuses? Yes. So what it does, what it's level? Uh, plus one to attack... Uh, level three. Plus one to attack rolls and damage rolls. Property. When you reduce an enemy to zero hit points or fewer, one enemy adjacent to you takes damage equal to two, plus this focuses in enhancement bonus damage, so three. Oh my. And power daily. Minor action. Make an at-will attack against an enemy that you already hit with an attack during this turn. Well, that'll be good, because I hit stuff all the time. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. This is a useful thing. But yeah, you feel like you've kind of mastered the... What John would immediately recognize as the one-inch punch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm going to take this, take this claw and sort of uh, start dissecting it in front of everybody. And I'm going yeah. to motion Patton over here to see if he wants to take a look at anything. I'll go in. Well, all right, all right. Elias, I understand. But how about we move away from this source of water huh? real quick? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. Just let's, let's get back on the road at least. Sure. Hey, I, I, got, Trust I got a claw me. too. I, I got a claw too. Hey, hey, hold on. Uh, that, that's... Um, that's quite all right, Jerry. Um, why don't you hold on to that one, and I'll take this one, and you can you can cut that one open, and I'll cut this one open, and we'll compare notes later, okay? No, I'm wondering so, if we can like uh, maybe eat this. I think uh, it, it's starting to smell pretty good from the burning. <laughs> I mean, didn't they used to eat shrimp back when uh, those humans? They still eat shrimp. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Not everything has been forgotten to the annals of history, my dude. Shrimp. Food is food. <laughs> Eat, eating food. Perhaps Jerry's just very unaware. <laughs> <laughs> that people can eat shrimp. I think that's a bit more of a player anachronism problem, but yes. So, uh, you guys probably are going to take that short rest and eat some, uh, eat some nice shrimp. Eat I'm going to make sure that nobody eats my claw, because I'm keeping it over here. So say, uh, the way that no, the two of us works. are like, we took like a hammer and like cracked open the shell and are like looking at the inner parts of the claw. Yeah. yeah. So the way a short rest works is that you can spend your healing surges to get back up to whatever value you'd like. You spend a surge, get your surge value. Uh, John already spent like, he you spent a surge using uh, your lay on hands thing. Right. Yeah, I spend one. So just make sure you mark that down. Uh, go back up, and uh, you're going to get your encounter powers back, but not your dailies. All right, so my yep. surge value is seven. I'm going to sit on the riverbank. So I'm going to spend three. Whiskey. I'm going to spend three surges for twenty for. Uh, yeah, for twenty one. Mm -hmm. HP. I, I spent two to get myself back up the full. And Jerry got hit once. <laughs> I, I'm not going <laughs> to use any surges. I only took two damage. <laughs> And I'm going to be explaining to the party while we're walking how arduous my fight was. So, <laughs> as as the party kind of rests and relaxes a bit after getting their asses utterly handed to them for most of that uh, fight. That's a matter of interpretation. I think I held my own. I was off, I was off one round. On if that, you ignore all the times that we missed, it was a pretty good fight. On that, we'll see you guys next week as these guys probably get to that facility. Hopefully. As long as we don't get attacked by more All crabs. Right. Dragon Ball Z crab, effect. Crab, crab. So, uh, Ted, Oof. mind telling them, as per the norm, where they can find us and everything? All right. You can find me and the main podcast, Let Me Tell You About. You can contact us on Twitter at Let Me Tell You PD or uh, through email at Let Me Tell You About at gmail.com. That's let me tell you about with three T's because it wouldn't fit otherwise. Um, you can find me on Twitter at can't hit crabs. Uh, 
Actually, it's at pulp, <laughs> at pulp fan sixty nine. Don't follow. It's just a bunch of weeb shit. And uh, yeah, I will I think, attempt I think to. Crabman might be very <laughs> thankful that you weren't able to hit one crab uh, the entire fight. I think it's your pure devotion to the artist uh, Crabman that. I think I'm know, going to draw, burn right? these dice and purchase new ones. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you I, might want to tweet at him. And just tell him that you were playing D&D and just couldn't bring yourself to hit the crabs. I, I, I'm not going to bother him with this. No one needs to know about this role. Never, Everyone's going to know We're never this. speaking of this encounter again. Elias has and, uh, already put it behind him and is retconning it in his mind to where he was playing, you know, a very important role distracting everyone. <laughs> so, uh, Ted, did you tell them the uh, Twitter? Yes. Uh, you can drop us a line on Twitter, uh, or you can leave uh, leave us some YouTube comments, and you know about the about the show, uh, any questions about the world, stuff like that. Or uh, as uh, DJ here brought up, I'm sorry, Daniel. Yeah, don't use up, my screen name. How as he dare brought up you? Uh, last episode, uh, you can send us uh, you can send in fan mail. To Jaren's show. I mean, I would uh, say animal. fan mail is a bit strong, considering I doubt we have any fans. <laughs> Man, I fucking no, wish. This, this is, uh, and we'll answer. Fans. We can. Uh, you can direct it to us. We'll answer in character, and it'll be. Uh, it's it'll a, be a it's gay all whole in time. the universe. Yeah. You send them all over to Jerry. So, anyway, that'll do it for this week. Look forward to the next week. Right, don't stop your audacities yet because we're gonna do a little fun after the credits scene. What, what's uh, going on here? Right. Can can I can we take like five? I gotta go play League of Legends, and I've had to play League of Legends for like twenty <laughs> minutes now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. No, I was just going to do. Back. You know how you know like you know the music fades out, but you still see that there's like four minutes left in the podcast, and it's just them t- shooting the shit about random shit. Mm-hmm. I have a topic I would like to bring up. Oh no! All right, Matt, you fuck man. He's the Matt the bastard. No. It me. Okay. So this is actually just a thing in general. Uh, you know, fun fun stuff is fun, but I would like to keep the uh, the lampshade hanging anachronisms to a minimum. Also, just world info, like normal stuff is still normal, right? Like it's not like these guys are completely unaware of just regular shit, and it doesn't really make it any sense for them to be unaware of regular shit. Like, people still just eat normal food. It's not like all the food is weird and wacky. Like, you know, common knowledge now is still going to be more or less common knowledge. Right? Right. Okay. Like, So, you know, it's not like people don't know what places are called, so you don't have to be like, what is this new jersey? Was there an old one? They, they know. What is this wall along the southern border of this no, country? Mother. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, that, that sort this of thing. Trump's but it's America. like, okay, Giant so like in, in, terms of, in terms of how how everything fits together and makes sense, right? It's not like you don't need to you don't need to be wondrous at like my my word, what is this structure which crosses this this expanse of water? What, what no, yeah, people have been have here bridge. long enough. Bridges collapse. Yeah, people have been here for long enough that old world tech is not that mysterious. At least nothing Even. that we've like, nothing that we've run into before. I assume yeah, it wasn't no, very surprising to John to see the walk. A radio. It's yeah, radio. Like, you talk to getting people. like a CB radio. That's not that weird. Yeah, okay. I couldn't tell you how it works, but it there it is. It's working. So yeah, like we're at about a '90s level of understanding. Yeah, something okay. like that. Well, it's, okay. it, the, okay, the interesting part, at least for me, about the world is that it varies, right? There's the the level of understanding about different things in the world varies wildly. So we've got yes, we've got like you, trains, but also radios. Like, yeah, we've got trains, radios, hollow tapes. So yeah, like if you went out onto a uh, like into one of the border cities, right? Right. people are just starting out, they might not really know that much. Yeah, right? yeah like, we're right outside there are New York City. The most there are definitely people city. that have yeah. been out there for a while and maybe haven't seen the Right, evolution. and there's definitely a ton of people who came over and 
pretty much decided, nope, we're going to go, you know, do our own thing, right? There's a ton of elves that just went out into the forest. They're not going to stay in a city. Staying in a city with a bunch of concrete buildings and steel buildings feels weird. They don't yeah. like it, so they leave. And so those guys, they wouldn't know shit about a radio because they have intentionally not been dealing with it. And your character would know that. Yeah. So that's basically it. Episode's okay. actually over now. You can find me in my mom's basement playing D&D, also on a D&D real play podcast called Revival. Hell yeah. And with that, see you next week.